Hey guys, welcome back to another tech episode of Review Any Tech. So today I'm gonna show you how to add fonts to your Kubo e-reader. Now, you might have a lot of options when it comes to fonts and many people don't even know that they can change the fonts in their Kubo. That is only possible if your file is an EPUB, a PDF uh, cannot be changed in terms of fonts, but I'll demonstrate it here. So. When we uh, get this, for example, this book, uh, you have the option to change the fonts, I'll tap, and you have the fonts, uh, here it says Georgia, you have all these options, but is that really enough? Well, not for many people. You might really want to like uh, to have a font called Halloween. Now we will see how to get that. So. All you need to do is to insert uh, your Kubo into your laptop, tap connect, and wait for it to load. Now, you need to previously download uh, your uh, font that you want to use uh, into your computer. So this is my Kubo. I have a fonts folder. It's unnecessary, but it's for convenience and organization purposes. Uh, but um, this file here, the .ttf, is the font file, the Halloween font file. Now, when you uh, download fonts, they often uh, come with external uh, instructions that come in the form of .txt files. Don't uh, copy-paste those, they just take a lot of space. Just copy-paste this uh, file with the extension .ttf into your Kubo. Uh, I already I show you how to do it so simply copy paste into here and it's done. You just eject it and pretty soon Kubo is back. Now I go to my Kubo and it's here. Now uh, for some reason it changed the font itself to the Halloween one but often when you install a new font you need to go and change it here which uh, it comes up into your uh, list of fonts down there pretty amazing uh, and then you get a lot of more uh, font options yeah and that's how you add fonts to your Kubo UI there uh, to delete them simply do the same thing and just delete it off your Cuba. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below what questions or concerns you have and I will answer you in a timely manner. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.